Good evening to everyone. Nowadays, it is well known that digitization has tenaciously become part of the construction industry. The document is aimed at being an analysis of the state of the art, focusing on the digitization application in post-disaster reconstruction. The digitization process is in first place among the activities and objectives to be pursued. It involves every actor of all levels in order to create value, to optimize resources, to make work organization more efficient and develop new technologies integrated with each other. Therefore, to all effects, it has changed the business model. According to what is reported by the synthetic formalism of a dictionary, the digitalization is a conversion process between two systems in order to record and use information that can change over time. This digitized information forms a database and in this way can be reused in the future. In the Italian context, the importance of this subject is well known. In fact, the Economic Development Ministry has placed an industrial plan called Industry 4.0 at the center of its agenda. This plan is aimed at modernizing the industrial sector through the integration of innovative technologies and the digitization of the manufacturing world. The construction sector is involved with the same intensity as the other sectors and the potential advantages have been highlighted. They could completely revolutionize the concept and approach to this field. In particular, applying digital transformation to the construction sector, the reference is made to the design and management of processes through the sharing of information in electronic, organized and processable form. The most effective operational model to pursue digital transformation in this sector is the building information modern. Therefore, the aim of this contribution is to provide an overview of this process progress in the current context, starting from the evolution of digitization in the construction world up to the management of post-disaster scenarios. The digitization is a process that dates from the 1970s and, unlike what one might think, it is not a momentary phenomenon as a result of a current trend, but it is a real paradigm shift. In particular, building information modeling is currently considered as the most innovative methodology in the construction sector. A 1992 publication contributed to its large-scale diffusion as well as the 2003 publication of the Autodesk White Paper. Since 2009, the Italian National Unification Institution, known as UNI, tried to define technical specification through the enactment UNI 11337 of the 2009, later replaced by UNI 11337.1 of the 2017, which still represents the main guideline on the subject of digital management of BIM processes. Further measures that are particularly important were taken in recent years. After the 2014 Community, community Directives 23, 24 and 25. Among them, the 2014-24 EU invites member states to encourage, specify or impose the BIM use for all publicly funded projects and works in the EU, starting from 2016. In Italy, the implementation of these community guidelines took place through a legislative decree, 1550 of the 2016, which introduced in Article 23, Paragraph 13, the gradual adoption. The turning point, however, took place with the ministerial decree 560 of the 2017, which introduced the requirement of BIM in the context of public procurement. Starting from 2019, the use of BIM has been made compulsory for complex works related to works with a tender amount equal to or greater than 100, 100 million. This threshold will be reduced annually until 2025. In that year, is expected the BIM adoption for all public works. This legislation, as we can see from the slide, is divided into 10 parts, seven of which have already been published. They deal with the general aspects of the information process digital management in the construction sector. 
such as the information vehicle structure, the process information structure, the product information structure. The regulatory structure consists of 10 parts for which have not yet been issued. In Italy, as you can see from the graph in the third OIT report on BIM, the tenders monitoring carried out by the institution starting from July 2015 initially saw a timid growth, which became consistent, especially after the approval of the ministerial decree 560 of the 2017. In particular, in the context of the procedures for the award of engineering, engineering and architecture services, the report highlights a further leap of 58.3% in 2019, after the growth of 263.9% in 2018. This growth highlights the prospect of going further beyond the well-known borders of digital and technological innovation. But despite this encouraging data, it is clear that this is still a, tr a transition phase. In fact, as it normally happens for any novelty, it is possible to identify dichotomies in relation to the concept of digitization especially when the aim is to introduce the methodological approach in a sector that is not very open to process innovations, such as the construction world. Therefore, a reflection on this issue is reported in the following slide. In order to manage critical issues, a process digital revolution was necessary, a sort of paradigm shift from the world of construction in general to the management and maintenance of buildings in the particular. This was possible by promoting and implementing the BIM use from the origin of the work conception to its maintenance. The purpose of this methodology is the integration of planning with computerization, governing processes and promoting smart management of costs, quality and time. This solution is aimed at reducing errors decreasing the in-process variation number, improving the quality of the building design and construction, enhancing efficiency of communication and the collaboration between the many protagonists of the building process, increasing productivity, 